the tremendous number of people who've come out in the last few days is part of a worldwide struggle fighting for the rights of the Palestinian people. And I think that the uh, convoys that have gone and the other groupings of people, as each increased um, group has gone, it's increased the awareness not only in the United States but worldwide. The first convoy that went from Britain had tremendous support from all the countries along the way. The second one, they stopped us at, at the Suez Canal and wouldn't let us go through, and that was a 12-hour standoff. And then this, the one that Ralph showed you the pictures of, they had pitched battles. This one has been even more so. So it shows the genuine worldwide movement that is increasing its awareness and participation in demanding free the people of Gaza, let all the humanitarian aid in. But as someone who went to Gaza, I want to mention food. Is not, there's a huge amount of malnutrition, and I'm not going to give you statistics because I didn't put them together for tonight, but most of the people are very undernourished, that's to say the least. The water is all contaminated. When we were there, they provided us with bottled water because they have no access to clean water because what was bombed was all the supply areas for the water to purify it. Chlorine, a major necessity to clean water and to protect from sanitation people from having the runoff from their toilets or whatever facility they have, is not available because like a rack, it's not allowed. It's considered a dual item. So there's no chlorine to make clean water, and there's no chlorine to disinfect waste. And there are tons of waste areas where if Israel bombed and these waste sites were hit, in one area, 3,000 people in that community would die from drowning in this mass waste pit that they have. So these are some of the conditions. I did not see this, but I have read about it and know, saw the situation. Thousands of people are living on the beach. The hospitals had no medicine for three months before the actual bombings that started this reround of the Gaza movement. I'm not talking about the present ones, but over a year ago when they bombed. They'd had no medicine for three months before that. And here they had thousands of people coming for care with no, nothing to provide them for. Many of the wounded had multiple amputations from the use of dime, which is a weapon that Israel used for the first time based on articles from GIs in Gaza or equivalent army people in Gaza who said we never were allowed to use these weapons before and we used it. And so you have people with not one amputation but with two and three and no access to health care basically because the supplies were not there. These are the kinds of conditions people are living under. The aid that we wanted to bring in, most aside from it being medicines and aid of that nature, is building supplies. There are the buildings, if you look at what happened to Katrina and on the ground, how horrendous it was, and that was from water, here, it's from bombs dropping, buildings, pieces of sheets of, of cement are hanging off buildings. Every, most of what we saw was totally demolished. This is the conditions that have continued. The Israelis have refused to allow any aid in, not only humanitarian from the point of view of medicine and foods, which whatever they're getting in is coming through the tunnels, but no building supplies to rebuild just common homes. We're not talking about massive big office buildings. We're talking about people having a roof over their head and, and, and a floor under their feet and being protected from the weather. And they've refused to allow that to happen. So we have to salute the Palestinian people for their determination, courageousness, and continued tenacity to fight back against the Israeli military and against this frontal assault on a people that have a right to return to their country and people who have been displaced because most of the people in the Gaza Strip are people that have been pushed out from other parts of what was Palestine.